That's just giving me such nostalgia right now. That is a heavy line. P.O.D. Youth of the Nation. That's what we're going to be listening to, to today. This is a, uh, a Christian rock band. I used to listen to them back in the day because I, I grew up in a, a pretty religious household. So my parents were okay with me listening to P.O.D. I'm not sure if they're still like, a, you know, a Christian rock band today. But uh, anyways, I think it would be fun to go back and listen to some of the music I used to listen to as a kid and see if there's things in it that I notice now that I didn't notice back then. So this is P.O.D. Youth of the Nation. Oh my gosh, I totally remember that drumming. Never did notice originally that you hear like a bunch of youth in the background. Just like sounds of kids, you know, because this is supposed to be a song about them, right? Last day of the rest of my life, I wish I would have known because I didn't kiss my mama goodbye. I didn't tell her that I loved her, how much I care to thank my pops for all the talks and all the wisdom he shared. Unaware, I just did what I always do. Every day the same routine before I skate off to school. But who knew that this day wasn't like the rest? Instead of taking the test, I took two to the chest. This is a deep song. Clearly, it's a deep song. Wish he had kissed his mama goodbye. Like, wish he, wish he knew it was going to be the last day of his life and thank all his dad for all the wisdom that he shared. It's a deep song. <clears throat> but it's also making me... It's just giving me such nostalgia right now. Talk about skating after school. That's all I did when I was in middle school. I just skated. I skated so much I gave myself Osgood Slaughter's disease. I don't know if you could actually give yourself Osgood Slaughter's disease, but... I had to stop skating for a little bit because I had it. Call me blind, but I didn't see it coming. Everybody was running, but I couldn't hear nothing except. Oh, it happened so fast. Uh, I'm remembering things now. Maybe this kid was reaching out for love. Or maybe for a moment he forgot who he was. Or maybe this kid just wanted to be hugged. Whatever it was, I know it's because we are, we are. That little, can we call that the chorus? Even though it's all, all it's saying is we are the youth of the nation. We are, we are, right? Uh, it's, it still slaps. Am I allowed to use the word slap? It still slaps. And um, gosh, I know I'm being so lighthearted during this, but it's just, it's giving me the, the nostalgia. This is a very deep song though. It's clearly about mental health struggles to the point of causing harm, it seems like. Yeah, and the one thing that I'm noticing too about this, I, I work with the youth today. I'm a teacher. And there is just these themes of youth that <clears throat> no, no matter how much the uh, next generation looks at the youth and says to themselves, oh, the kids these days, you know, um, there's these themes throughout youth that are consistent, what it would seem to me, at least like the, the struggle of mental health and the, um, like that stereotype of this girl putting, you know, all of her worth into all of the wrong places, like dudes who ain't going to treat her right, you know, <clears throat> and the kid who's like acting a fool because he's trying to be cool. Is that what he said? That's a pretty cheesy line, but it's relatable. It's kind of hard when you ain't got no friends. He put his life to an end. They might remember him then. 
Oh god, that's deep. I forgot about that line. I forgot about that line. That is a heavy line. Tell the world how he felt with the sound of a gat. You listen to this as a kid and it makes you feel understood. You listen to this as an adult and it makes you feel heartbreak for the youth. It hits different. Playing a PRS? Is that a Paul Reed Stanley that he's playing? I think it is. I always have to throw in just a little bit of critique here because it comes to my mind. Playing a PRS? Not the most impressive gu guitar solo there. But <clears throat> it does match the song. This song does not sound like it needs a... It doesn't sound like it needs that. <laughs> you know? Who's to play for the life the tragedies claim? No matter what you say, it don't take away the pain that I feel inside. I'm tired of all the lies. Don't nobody know why. It's the blind leading the blind. Guess that's the way that the story goes. Will it ever make sense? Somebody's got to know. There's got to be more to life than this. There's got to be more to everything I thought exists. And this is where you start to pick up on just like the subtle, like if you didn't know that they are a Christian man, you pick up on the subtleties, subtleties. There are clues that they are like the, that line, there's gotta be something more than this. What do you think he's talking about? He's talking about something bigger than himself, right? Um, it's always kind of crazy to me how many Christian rock bands there that there were that became mainstream that people, I don't people realize they were a Christian rock band, you know? What a great choice to have like a choir of kids singing this. What is that? Oh my gosh, what is that brand that he's wearing on his shirt? That's not Famous Stars and Straps, is it? It's taking me back. Yeah, I don't think I've heard this song in over a decade. It feels like, I'm going to say that this song feels like one of those timeless songs. Or maybe just for me it is because it feels so nostalgic. Like I remember this playing on TRL. Or like I remember in the morning there was, um, was it like VH1 or something like that? But I definitely remember this from my childhood. And I feel like this song still is good. I think it's a good song. I think it's timelessly relatable. The youth not feeling understood and then struggling with things, right? That, that then manifests itself in different type of unhealthy ways. So what's the solution? Thanks for watching.